All right, let's get into this. So the new way that uh, you can make item functions is custom components. You don't need to, but that's the way that I'm going to use in this video. Uh, let's get started by making a simple item uh, JSON file real quick. Always use the uh, the most recent format version if possible. Because it has all the well, all the newest features. Not messing up here. Alright. If you want it to show up in the creative category or when you're crafting the item, you need to put menu category and uh, put the specific category that you want it to show in. I'm going to have mine show up in items and the group will be, it doesn't need a group. Uh, let's make the icon like Apple. You can find the uh, vanilla ones in Bedrock samples. I'll show you real quick. Go here, textures, uh, item texture.json. Then you see, well, actually right up here, Apple. Apple Golden, Arrow, all that. Uh, display names. You can set them in either your uh, NUS file, or you can set it here. I normally set it here because I don't want to set up tons of lang files. So, name that basic item. Now, custom components. We'll get back to that. After. We'll we'll put it in here after we actually make one. So, in your main TS, oh wait, actually, uh, make sure you do your watch command first, so it compiles. In your main TS, to register a, a custom component, you need to do the uh, world initialize before then. And then you'd uh, put the item component registry or block component. You can also get this by just doing a const, I believe. I'm messing up. Right now we only need item, though. So this register custom component, you put the ID of it here. That will be what you input here. So basic add-on. What do we want it to be called? Item. It's function. Then, in here, you're going to put what, uh, th these are pretty much events. Like, uh, you know, item use, uh, you know, complete use, all that. We're going to use just on use right now. Uh, to test, well, actually, you don't need a test for it. Let's say we want to get the health of an entity that we are looking at. So... Uh, let's get our constants first so we don't have to type so much. Item stack source. We don't need the item stack, so we're just getting source. Source is the player, so we'll do... We're only getting one entity, so source.get entities from the direction. Let's do... Uh, 
this returns an array of entities. So we need to make sure that it's it even has one, or else it'll error out. This is just checking if there's an entity in the first index in the array, like checking if it's undefined or not. Oh wait, we need to put that. There we go. And then let's say we want to put the health of the entity in the action bar, right? Actually, we need to get the health first. So let's get the health component from the entity. It would be uh, hmm. let's just let's just make that actually. Let's just make it that the component. Maybe. Ah. Okay. That that yeah I, I forgot about that. Get component. Let's do. Let's get the ID from the actual component. If for some reason it doesn't have the component, we need to return just in those cases for whatever reason. So let's do, now let's set it on the action bar, right? Source dot, uh, no, no, no. on screen display, set action bar, and then you can input a string in here. We're gonna put the variable in the string, so comp dot current value. Item function, you have it in the item. Now all I should have to do is go in. I'm gonna make a new world. I don't want to go on the boss world. Probably just gonna edit this. So you don't have to watch me make it. Where's my basic on? Oh, here it is. Sorry for the background noise. There's a I have an AC on. It, it gets really warm outside. Alright. So now we're in the world. If we go to items, our item should be here. Yep. Basic item. If I use it, nothing happens because we're not looking at an entity. If I go over here, look at this pig. See, it has 10 HP. If I hit it, and then. Yep. Alright, that works. That is how to make a basic item function.